Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. Um, we're just going to quickly go through some practice questions on how we can calculate pH, um, picking up some examples um, from the worksheets in the booklet. Okay, so some I'll just um, at the top just write the two formulas that um, we're going to want to to keep an, a close eye on. Okay, so we've got pH is equal to minus log to the base 10 of our hydronium ion concentration and that um, our hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the minus pH. Um, just remembering that um, from the previous video that, that we had um, that these relationships also work for OH and OH minus, pOH and OH minus. Okay, so let's have a quick look at, um, so we're going to uh, look at exercise, so one um, look at 1a. So we're asked to calculate the pH of a solution with a hydronium ion concentration of um, our hydronium ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per litre. Okay, so we're asking to calculate a pH, so we're going to substitute into this formula here. pH is equal to minus log, um, now I'm not going to write the base 10 each time, but it is, the, yeah, it's going to be the, the same in each situation. So if I put that into my calculator then I get a pH of 4. Okay, now it's, it's part of that stems, you can see that it stems from this number here. When we've got some number which is basically a power of 10, that it's just the minus of this thing, so pH of 4. So I didn't actually need to calculate that one to work it out. Um, not because I'm smart, but because it, it's quite straightforward. Okay, now and then if I have a look at um, part B, um, so I've got hydronium ion concentration I'm told is 0 0.00255 moles per litre. Okay, so not as straightforward. We do need to make sure that we do the calculation for this one. So pH is equal to minus log to the base 10 of 0 0.00255. And we put that into my calculator and I get a value of 2.59 of pH there. Okay, let's, um, moving on, we're going to... Um, so we can do the same sort of approach to calculate POHs in question two, um, but so we're going to go down to question three, um, and so we're going to, to where we're starting to to now use this formula here to calculate the hydronium ion concentration. So we're going to do three and we're going to do part B. Okay, so calculating um, the hydronium ion concentration of a solution which is pH nine point four. Okay, so we're substituting into this formula here. So our hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the minus 9.4 and so we get a value of um, basically okay so I'm going to say 4.0 to round it off times 10 to the minus 10 moles per litre because it's 3.98 something something times 10 to the minus 10 but so this is to two significant figures when I round that off okay and then we're also now I'm going to do another bit of an ex um, skipping exercise and I'm going to go down to question 5 part B Okay, because we're asked to calculate the pH of a solution of sodium hydroxide. So it's 0.36 mole per litre sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we can connect these ideas of pOH and pH in this particular practice example. Okay, so what I can see is therefore um, my hydroxide ion concentration is 0.36 moles per litre. Because for every one mole of sodium hydroxide that dissolves, one mole of hydroxide ions will be formed. You can't assume that this happens in every case, you'll see in some of the other examples, but in this case it does. Um, and so then I can do a calculation of my pOH, okay, so uh, minus log to the base 10 of 0 0.36. And so when I calculate this, I end up with a value of 0 0.44. Um, with some additional decimal places. Um, my pH is going to be equal to 14 minus this number because remember that we see that that's the relationship that we get and so I get a value of basically 13 point, I'm going to go to three significant figures and 13.6. Okay, so we can see that we've gone from a hydroxide ion concentration to a pOH to then pH rather than dealing with some other kind of complicated maths relationships with KW we've worked it all out. Alright, so hopefully this gives you some guidance about how you might go about these um, sort of calculations. Uh, good luck, thanks very much for watching and bye for now.